So for years, I thought that the radon gas and all the other problems associated with Fernald were gone, all cleaned up. Apparently, that's not the case. Here's Dwayne Pullman. Tony Tetsawari grappled with what he claimed was and is a continuing radioactive threat at Fernald. Is Fernald cleaned of radioactive danger? No, sir. Not at all. The known threat is uranium. It was processed here. Radioactive remnants of uranium hover in the groundwater in a plume beneath what's now the Fernald Nature Preserve. The uranium that's coming out mm -hmm. is radioactive, correct? Uh, yes. While nearly four and a half billion dollars was spent on the cleanup and millions continue to be spent on removing the uranium in the groundwater, Tetsawari claimed the government has not addressed the potential threat in the air. And you're telling me radon gas is a threat right now? Correct. Radon. A colorless and odorless radioactive gas produced by the decay of uranium and other elements. When that happens naturally deep in the earth, radon is often trapped in the basements of homes. According to the National Cancer Institute, radon in our homes causes an estimated 15,000 to 22,000 lung cancer deaths in the U.S. each year. At Fernald, this massive mound called the on-site disposal facility is full of low-level radioactive waste, including soil from the cleanup and debris from the old uranium processing plants. Tetsawari said those materials inside the mound produce a lot of radon. That's basically a radon generator. It could produce some radio, uh, radon, ra radon rather. Bill Hurdle, the Fernald site manager, insists the design of the landfill itself, which includes a multi-layer cap and polyethylene membrane, prevent radon from being released. It would be absorbed. But when I questioned further, Hurdle admitted there is a way for the gas to escape this mound, not at the top, but here at the bottom, where pipes inside these buildings, called valve houses, drain leaching liquid from the radioactive waste pile. It's conceivable that radon would be vented from the pipes, right? Yeah, it is. It's and conceivable. Th the question is, is how much of that is being vented, and we don't know. Well, we don't know, but we do have, um, you yeah, know, those, 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 we, we don't know exactly what it is, but we, we do know that um, we have ventilation systems on each of those buildings. Those ventilation systems were installed after strong odors began emanating inside the valve houses in 2007. The air was never tested for radon. Are you checking for gas? We don't check that facility for gas. It was deemed that that was not a concern when building this facility in the mid, mid to late 1990s. So we, we have never sampled for uh, for, for radon in that facility. Radon was monitored in other parts of the Fernald Preserve, but that ended nine years ago. The reason we stopped sampling for radon was that we had 10 years of data showing that it was very near background. Background is a scientific term for what's already there. Is it just a, a small amount, this acceptable risk range, or is it more, you know, are, are there spotty because areas? Because it's not tested. Because you know. it's not tested, I don't know. That lack of testing continued to frustrate and concern Tetsawari, who complained to the EPA, but says he never got a reply. If you don't look for it, it's not there. Would you live near here? No. Within months of my interview, Tetsawari died of a massive heart attack. I spoke with him hours before he passed away. When I paid my respects at the funeral home, his wife told me Tony died of a broken heart because he blew the whistle about radioactive issues at Fernald and he really felt, Rob, he was never heard. So the real deal here is we don't know almost no. anything because nobody's taking a measurement now. Well, that's that's the point. Again, the site manager says, well, we don't need to because the, the, the re recordings in the past were fine. Yeah. But Tetsawari made it clear you can't say anything about it if you're not checking for it. Yeah, good point. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you.